Space.com, how do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, how do you hear me? I have you loud and clear now as well. Great, thank you so much. And thank you for speaking with us today. Um, I understand that this has been a very long and eventful uh, trip for you to the International Space Station. So how long have you been there now and what have been some of the highlights of your mission? I think I'm around 630 some days. Um, highlights have obviously been uh, four different spacewalks, uh, but uh, I've really enjoyed a lot of the different scientific research I've done this time. Uh, my background is in biochemistry and doing some of the studies uh, on the cell cultures, looking at cancer, lung, cancerous lung cells and different drug treatment things, uh, as well as uh, bone cells. So we, we're doing a really a lot of interesting research this time around, so I would have to say that's some of my highlights as well. But being in space every day is, is a highlight. Uh, it's hard to pick just one. Great. And so speaking of science, I'm wondering if you plan to watch the total solar eclipse on August 21st and if you'll be doing any science with that or just kind of watching and taking pictures or w what are your plans? Uh, we have plans to take pictures and watch during the eclipse. Our orbits won't be uh, terribly close. I think they said around 1,700 miles. But we're still hoping to be able to see it uh, on three different orbits um, around the Earth. So it, that'll be interesting, fun. My first time to see an eclipse from up here. And so you're coming home in September. And I'm wondering, what are you most looking forward to when you return to Earth? And are there maybe any foods that you're really looking forward to eating that you haven't been able to eat in space? Well. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, fans, friends and family, and, uh, but I, I would have to say the thing I've been thinking about the most, kind of been fantasizing a little bit about uh, different foods that I want to make and <laughs> vegetables that I want to saute, things th that I've missed up here. And so after you return home, do you have any plans to maybe go on a vacation or are you going back to work? and? If you do go back to work, what kind of work would that entail? The first 45 days after we land from a long duration space flight, we are doing um, rehabilitation, trying to get our bodies used to being on Earth again. We do a lot of the baseline data collections, the final data collections for all the experiments that have been running since before we, we launched. So there's many investigations on the human body that we've been doing up here on orbit. And so we'll have to continue those studies as well during that first 45 days. Some of those will last out to six months uh, where we're doing data collections to continue that process. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're doing a lot of debriefs, uh, talking to the ground teams about procedures that worked really well, procedures that we need to try and improve on, uh, tools or hardware things that we had issues with just ideas of how to operationally improve the efficiencies up here so that we can get even more done. So that first 45 days is actually going to be very busy. Uh, I do have, I put in for about four weeks of vacation between now and Christmas, but uh, the big vacation plan is a trip on a boat in February uh, with uh, my husband and some friends. That'll be a lot of fun. Do you have any advice or words of wisdom for maybe young kids or little girls who are interested in growing up to be an astronaut just like you? Well, I would say pick any field in math, science, or engineering and one that you really enjoy, that, that drives you, that gives you some passion, and pursue it. Um, I would also say that for me in particular, trying to do more than I might have thought was possible was very important, I think, in uh, the ev leading to the eventual successes that uh, I've had the privilege to experience. So I would say live just a little bit outside your comfort zone. Push yourself to where you, to more than you think you might imagine you could do. Great. Well, thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you for your time, and I wish you the best of luck in the rest of your space adventures. Thank you very much. It was great talking to you, too. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. <laughs>